Hey guys, my name's Chris Nicholas. I've been asked by quite a few people, what kind of heat guns am I using when it comes to welding composite material? So I started doing some experiments. These two strips at the top, I welded with these micro torches. And the center of the flame is around 2,500 degrees. And it makes it very difficult to regulate your heat. This is a battery powered heat gun. It was the hottest on the market that I could find. It got up to a heat of 875 degrees. And while I welded this strip together, it took me five minutes to do this little weld. I thought maybe a butane torch could be cool. The moment I put a reducer on it, it would shut the flame out. So I tried welding without the reducer. And what would happen is it would disperse the heat and it made it difficult to do the weld. It took about two and a half minutes. This particular heat gun has a heat range of around 1000 degrees, but it has a very powerful fan. And what would happen is once I got it up to a welding heat, it would splatter my material. I was talking with Dan Schroeder who works for Easy Care, and I asked him what kind of heat gun has he been using? And he recommended this one. Here's the three takeaways from it. Being able to adjust the fan from low to high and having a temperature range of 120 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit gives you multiple options. It comes with a nine mil reducer that easily slips on as well as having ventilation on it. Welding at about a thousand degrees Fahrenheit with a medium speed fan seems to be about ideal when it comes to welding composite materials. So when you are considering buying a heat gun, having a digital readout makes it simple to understand the heat that you're working with. Having it come with a nine mil reducer, as well as it having vents on it, sure simplifies the process when it comes to learning to weld. And at the end of the day, no matter how many tricks and tips you may learn, there's really no substitute to practicing heat welding. As you can see here, I have a nice smooth weld, no air bubbles, clean transition. All I have to do is finish grounding off the excess material and it's ready to glue on a horse. Hope this video has been helpful for you to pick out a heat gun to practice composite plastic welding. Have a great day. Cheerio.